welcome to this quick walkthrough of the VR Museum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to download the VR Museum and get it running on your computer. And then I'm going to show you how to look through some of the files so you can learn how to um, do some of the things that are in that VR Museum in your own projects. And then I'm going to take you for a quick guided tour of the actual VR Museum so you can see all of the things that we can actually get done. All right. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and hit the start button and I'm going to launch up Stingray. And once Stingray starts, I'm gonna to come to this uh, projects folder. Now, inside the projects folder, we have these three tabs up on top. So the first one we probably already know is my projects, and this shows all the projects you currently have installed on your computer. The next one is gonna be your templates, and these are gonna be all the built-in templates that come with Stingray. The last one is the online examples. Now, inside the online examples are online uh, larger content kind of projects uh, that we can go ahead and download and um, are not you know, technically part of the build, but are part of Stingray. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the VR Museum and let's go ahead and hit download. Okay, next what we're gonna wanna do is put this into a folder where we'd like to keep it. So I'm gonna put it on my desktop and I'm gonna go new and I'm gonna go folder and I'm gonna go VR Museum. Okay, and once I do that, I'm gonna double click on the folder and say select folder and go ahead and hit the download button. Now the download is gonna go ahead and start and we're just gonna watch this, uh, this percentage bar increase and when it gets to 100, it's gonna automatically launch our project and get us into, the, um, into Stingray, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this uh, recording and I'll come back as soon as it's done. Okay, so now that the project is downloaded and compiled, I'm gonna go ahead and go File, Open Level, and I'm gonna open the VR Learning Example. Once open, we come to this really cool room where we can see a bunch of different objects all over the scene. And if we travel through this doorway over here, we have a bunch of other objects that are all uh, carefully created, and they're all kind of like little mini projects. So we can look at each one of these things. So if we wanted to see how to like do a VR flashlight, um, you can select the VR flashlight, and you can go right click, find asset and browser, and double click on the flashlight. And once you do that, you're gonna open up the unit editor and in unit flow, you can see exactly how this flashlight was constructed um, and how all the flow works for making that, that happen. Now, I'm not gonna go into all the details on how this works, um, but I just wanted to show you that you can open up all of these assets and, um, and learn exactly how they were built um, because they're all very well documented, shown and explained uh, right here in, uh, in the example. Okay, so um, that's the flashlight. If we wanted to see how the bubble gun works, um, we can do the same thing. Find asset and browser, double click on the bubble gun. And here we'll see, you know, the model and exactly how it's built. Okay, so here's all the flow code for, uh, for that. So this is really cool because we're given all of the necessary features and we can very easily dissect and, um, you know, build it the way we want to build it. So um, in our own projects, we can use these examples um, and this flow code to do things that we want to do, all right? So just a very powerful uh, learning example system and uh, it's all interactive, so we can actually play it as well, which I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, right about now. All right, so let me launch this up in VR and we'll take a quick tour and see all of the things that we can do in here, all right? Okay, now to go ahead and launch our VR, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my Steam control panel and I'm gonna go Steam VR, launch up the Steam VR system. I'm gonna grab my controllers, power them up. And once they're powered up, my Steam VR output will give me a green on all of the different uh, things. So I've got my two base stations that are ready to go I've got my two controllers ready to go, and I've got my headset ready to go. So now all I have to do is go ahead and press this Run Projects button, and I'm just going to go ahead and maximize this uh, for, you, for you guys to be able to see uh, the, the full experience. Okay, so now that it's maximized, I'm going to put on my headset, and I'm going to take a quick tour. Let's go ahead and start playing around. So the first thing we're going to do is start over here on the... All right, and I'm just going to kind of check out this guy right over here. And I can 
pick up objects and out of these. These are just simple pick up sticks. You can pick up objects and we can kind of see how their physics work. And we have a baseball bat and baseball. So let's go ahead and grab these guys. And there's no way I'm going to do it left handed, so let's drop those guys. Pick up the baseball with the left hand and the bat with the right. And try to hit it, but I'm not going to be able to do this very well. It's pretty hard uh, to actually pull off. And we try that again. There we go. And as you can see, the baseball bat and baseballs work quite nicely. So we've got an example of you know, how to do pickup objects and kind of collision objects and stuff like that over here. Then as we move down, we have some nice musical instruments we can try playing with. And we play a xylophone. Or I can pick up the cowbell. stuff. And we have some bongos over here. And a really cool gong. Two different mallet types. Some really nice physics that go on in there. And over here, we have some examples of how we can do color switching. So you pick up a palette with your left hand, and then you touch it with your right, and then you let go with the trigger on your uh, right hand. So touch, trigger, touch, trigger, touch, trigger. All these will have a reset button. You can just click the reset and then reset everything to that specific station back to where it was. Um, we have a really cool flashlight over here. Very common in video games have a flashlight. So, nice example to have. And a bubble gun. Certainly in our quiz examples, turn on and off our light. We have another really fun example, which is this anti-gravity or no gravity, where we can now interact with objects in what feels very much like space. Space. This is uh, a really cool way to feel it, I'll tell you. Very fun stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, go ahead and open this door here. And this door is also physical, so it doesn't just open and close. You actually can open it like you were a real door. And pass through it. 
good. Here we have some very simple examples of common game elements where we can rotate a valve, let's say, that has to go to a certain position to shut off. Um, we have a very cool bouncing ball. Oh, we still have anti-gravity on, so let's go ahead and turn off the anti-gravity so we can see our ball bounce nicely. As you can see, as soon as you do that, everything falls back to the ground. This gravity has been re-enabled. And our ball started to bounce immediately. Now we can catch and throw. And that thing will bounce really long and hard. It's actually kind of fun when we're going to And over here, we can miniaturize. So here you've got an example of miniaturization. Button, sorry about that. And here you can walk around in the city street like you're a giant. And as you can see, you can see the rest of the world around you still. There's the other room and the big door. So, just a very cool uh, example of being able to miniaturize and to change perspective types. All right, so that's pretty much the VR museum. And as you can see, uh, there's quite a bit to learn from in here. And as I was showing you earlier, you can open up any one of these objects and uh, dissect it and see exactly how it was built. All right. So uh, do download the project and run it and play with it and learn as much as you can from it. I know I do. Um, and I hope you guys will as well. All right. Great. Have a nice day. And I hope you enjoyed this.